Ooh, that looks tasty. Welcome, folks. Today, The Hungry Gamer is back with another playthrough. Today, we are doing our playthrough of Rat Catcher from Platypus Industries. Now, we're going to jump right into this. If you want a basic overview of how the game works, you can check out my preview video, and I will add that this is a paid promotion, this playthrough. And I have chosen to play as Madam Cage, and I am trying to take on the Rat King. I will say, I've never beaten the Rat King, and I'm hoping this is the time, but I will say that my initial draw here is not particularly good. I have three spawn points over here for every round. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sacrifice this cheese here and kind of go this way so that will just deactivate, I think is really probably the best move for me. I'm going to try to make my way this way. But here we go. Let's clear this out and let's see how we do. So I'm going to start out and clearly I want to try to get that cheese. So I'm going to just move one and two. I can walk past that one because it's not a brown rat. So that is two movement. Then let's see if I can't take these out. So there's two rats there. And I'll start by rolling two dice. And I got one. Drop that in my Taliban cage. I will roll another die. Nope. I will roll another die. Nope. And my last die. Got it. So I was really, oh, I went ahead and took two over. Oh, anyhow, they're both over there now. And then I will munch down on that cheese. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my traps. This might not be the best move, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go and put this plus one right here so I don't forget. I have a plus one accuracy there. And we're going to see how that goes. So I get to, well, I still have some movement left. I'm going to use one more movement and step up to here. I'm going to use my free place a trap right there. Then I will use my last two to place a trap here. And there's really no reason to place any other traps. Everything's going to move kind of towards me. But yeah, so no point in that. So I have one, one movement left over, and that will be fine. Now all the rats are going to move. And then two, one, two. All right, so over here, I'll start with this one. Well, the traps go off first. Let me do the traps first. So right here, that one goes, and I get my four dice threes. I take them down. And I got two hits that I need to get the black rat, then one for the other two. So I get all three of them. Then over here, same thing. So I gotta get at least one of those brown rats. At least one, I'm good. Well, I got two, so I did get one of the brown rats. And I'll go ahead and take out the other brown rat as well. Nope, I can't. I gotta take out one of these white rats so they don't eat the cheese on me. Yep, because there's only four there. Okay, that goes away. Then this cheese gets eaten. There we go, and these rats go away. And nothing happens there. And that is the end of the rat activation. Then we go spawning. This is no longer active. So we get one here and one here. Then I have to do my township because I have less than two cheese, so two more. And first we have this one. I will place them there. And okay, these are these aren't bad at all. If things go well, I can get to those. And the rule is that if it's close, they actually count. And then I get my random token, and we see it is a yellow potion there. And then we get all of our rats. And so what's gonna be tough over here is I might lose that cheese. Oof, almost immediately because of all these black rats. So I might just have to also let that one go. 
Yeah, so this is not looking um, this is not looking good to start out with for me. And I collect all of my dice back. All right, so first thing, I got to deal with these rats here. So I will start with, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five rats there. Well, then I will, well, I'm just going to roll them all and hope I get some hits. Oh, 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 that's really bad. That's really bad. I will just take out this rat here. And I think I think I need to get rid of some more rats because I'm, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to use my three white rats out of my tallyman cage. Roll another one. Nope. Yeah, I got to keep going because I can't get beaten down like this. So I'm going to use three more. Nope. And that's that. So that was about as bad as a turn could have possibly gone. I might be getting a summon of the Rat King very, very quickly. But let's throw down some traps. I'll drop a trap here. I'll drop a trap here. And I'll drop a trap there. Whoops, I didn't set my movement, but I have plenty because I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I don't think. Oh boy, that was bad. So rats will move. Okay, well, not good, not good, not good, not good. All right, let's clear that out. So first I'll do this trap right here. Wow, I just can't get anything going here. And then let's do that one right there. No, oh, at least I got the one. And then right here. Okay, well, at least I got two. So I'm going to get one of the black rats and then one of the brown rats. So I don't take any damage and the black rats are just harder to kill. Whoops. All right, then we have one, two, three, four, five. So this cheese gets snarfled up. And now all the white rats are moving two. And I still have two left. And now we go to spawning. Oh, and all of these rats go away. Now the good news is, because I'm not adjacent to that, that one's actually not active also. So I only have three active spawn points on me right now. So at least I have that going for me. So I might be okay, but I've got to get this cheese and that cheese this round. And I just don't, gosh, I just don't know how I'm gonna do that. Boy, I started out so promising. All right, so again, I'm gonna start up. There's four rats here. I'm gonna go ahead and roll five dice. See if I can't get lucky here. Well, it's two hits. So I'll take out these two rats. And here's my other one, nothing. Oh man, See, I don't like the idea of keeping using my rats here to attack, but I gotta get something going. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna use six more out of my Taliban cage for two more dice. Hopefully I can get something. Okay, well, at least I got that going. So I do take out those two. I do get another cheese which means I'm gonna have a township spawn. Oh, this is bad. But, well, clearly I need to up my attack value. So I'm gonna make that three plus, and maybe that'll work better for me moving forward. Then I will move one to here, and I'm going to put my free trap here with me for one. Oops, and for one, I'll place another one. I'm gonna drop it here. And then for another one, I'm going to drop it here. And I think that might work out because I'm going to have, yeah, I think that's going to work. So that's what I'm going to do. So first, those rats stay there. And we have one, two, because they're faster now. One, two, one, two, one, two. Who's there? One, two. Oh, this is bad. One, two. Wow, that's bad. Well, now we spring our traps. Let's see how we can do. I'll start this one, it's the easiest one. Well, I got both of those right here. So I need a big number. And I got one. Well, this is gonna be a fast game, folks. And oh, I'm down to one there. And then over here. Oh, and I, I put that I'm down to one because I already did my the damage. I shouldn't have done that, I did that out of order, but. That's why I went down. 
And at least here I got all three of them. So at least I'll be able to pick that cheese up next round. Okay, so now I take my damage, done. Then there's only one cheese out there after all snarfling. So let me go ahead and respawn. Then I will have to add some more townships. And I'm on one that gives me two more. One here, we'll do that. Ah, uh, this one has some health. So I'm gonna need to make my way towards that. I think that is going to be my plan. All right, and, and then I have to add my cheeses. Whoops, one here, one here, a health token and a potion. Fill my stuff back up. All right, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do have ten rats, so I could heal myself. But I think, gosh, there's just so many rats. Let's see, so I got one, two, three, so I need to get rid of four, at least four of these rats here to be able to move ahead. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll four dice and see if I can kill those brown rats. Now I hit on a three plus, and boom, all four. Take rid of, take out these brown rats. Actually, I'll take out three brown rats and then one white rat. Because I'll be able to move away, because they'll only bite me for one, and I have one defense. And I'll move one, then two, and three. I'll move three. And again, I get to dodge that one bite, because I would take one damage, and I have one defense. And then I have a single die left. And if I get lucky, I'll be able to snarfle up that cheese there. I did not get lucky. But I'm gonna do it. I keep burning these rats. I'm gonna use one here, because I really want that cheese. So I use three, my white rats, and got it. So that paid off, got that. I will eat that cheese, and I'm going to give myself another die there. And I don't think it happens immediately, so I'm, I'm leaving that alone. Now I have two move left. I'm gonna go one and two to move to here and get that health. Take me back up to here. And then I will use my free to drop a trap. The problem is I'm gonna lose that cheese over there or take a damage because those rats are all moving very fast. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, if they get the cheese, he's just gonna mutate and be a little bit stronger, but he won't spawn yet. Yeah, I'm going to drop this here, and I'm gonna lose that cheese, but just deal with it. Okay, rats will move. One, two. Moves there. Comes for me. I believe I did that right. Then my trap will spring. And great. So I got all three of these, which is good. There we go. And this cheese gets snarfled up. I will do my mutate in one second, and all these rats go away. These two are no longer active. That is active. This one is no longer. Nope, it is active because there's cheese right there. And then there's only one cheese left, so we have to draw, and I get to draw three. So this one's got a cheese right on it. Ooh, a lot of summoning stuff. I'll put that there. There's another cheese on it. We can put that right here. So what I'm, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make the path go that way so all those things deactivate as I kind of go through it. And put that right there. So I got a pretty good path to get it, get some more cheese here. Got those there here, I get my token. It's a potion. And then we just get a whole bunch of rats. A whole bunch of rats. All right, well my bag's starting to get empty, so I'm gonna need to make sure I, oh, and I still haven't spawned yet. Where did I, no, I think I skipped my spawning phase. So that would've been here and here. And that was not there. That one is active it's next to a cheese and that one up there. This is not actually active. So these rats actually would have run away the last time. 
So glad I made that correction there. All right, so get my dice. And I will say I've been going the wrong order. I should be recovering all my dice before I place the townships. I don't think it really matters, but just to, for clarity, I have been doing that incorrectly. Okay, so I need to get here, destroy all of those, and then maybe if I'm really lucky, get over to here and take that one out. So I will go one and two to move to there. And I have one, two, three, four rats. So I'll go one, two, five. I'm gonna go ahead and roll five dice here. See how I do. And if I can get three of them, I'll be able to get another cheese bonus over here. So here we go. Oh, look at that. So I can use these two to take out the black rats. And then any two more I want to take out the other two which means I actually wasted one of my dice, but that's okay. I will use that to snuffle down this cheese here. And I'm going to go ahead and boost my defense. So the way I read that is I need to actually use two of them to boost it by one. So I'm partially boosted. Then I'm going to move one, two to here. And let's see if I can get lucky and take out the single white rat. I did not get lucky. But I'm going to use three of my rats here and see if I can get lucky this time. I cannot. Oh, I'm now under 18, so I'm gonna go ahead and use three more and try again. And that will get it. And I will collect that and get my defense boost. And now I will lay down my trap here. Let's, I'm not sure if I actually have one movement left or not, because I messed that up. I'm going, to, you know what, I'm getting my butt kicked, so I'm gonna say I got one movement left, and if I cheated, well, we'll just say it's because I want you to see more of the game. I'll lay my free trap down right here because all those rats are coming after me. And these rats are going to be coming towards that, so they'll hit that. And, and I guess those rats will come this way too, so I'll put one down right here and see what I can get. And that's all of it. Now the rats activate. And this one here. This one actually goes that way. Oh, wait a minute, no, 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 because that is not an active one. And that is also not active, there's no cheese. That is not active, it goes away. Those are active, and that one's just gonna, I guess, sit there until the rats show up. And I may be doing that wrong, but that's all right, I'm gonna go with it. And over here, these three will all move to there. That'll move there, those will move there. All three of these rats, come to there, 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 one, two, and one, two. Oh, man. I'm glad I got that extra defense. So we'll start with that one right there and see if I can't get that one rat. And I did. And hopefully I will be able to get my cheese bonus here. So here I have one, two, three, four. There are four of the brown rats. So I need to at least get two of them with this trap, or I will take some damage. And I got two of them. Oh no, I won't take damage, because I have two defense now. So that's one, and two of those rats. And then, let me get that trap out of there. And then there's only four of them there, so that stays as it is. Then I go to the spawning phase. Okay, not too bad. Now there is, oh, there are two cheese, so there is not another township spawn. And so let's see, I will recoup. And let's see, how many do I have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I need to get one more rat. So let's go through this a little bit slowly. I'm going to take one. 
and I missed. I'll take a second one. I missed again. A third one. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. Fourth one. There we go. Finally got a rat. That was a horrible round. Take one of these. Then I'm going to turn in all of the rats in my Tallyman cage for a free piece of cheese. What do I want to do with that? I think what I need to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and upgrade again my attack. So I will now hit on a two plus, which I wish I'd had before because I would have been in better shape right there. Then I will go ahead and use my last two attacks, which is a, this is a bummer means I'm gonna lose that there. But I'll use my last two. And uh, only one more. I will get rid of one of the white rats. Then I will, whoops, I didn't fix that. I'll move one to here, two to get myself here. Then I will lay down my free trap and two more traps. Actually, I think I would have uh, dropped a trap here first and then I'll lay the other one here. So dropped my three traps, laid one there, moved, moved again, then laid two more traps is what I have now done. All right, and let's see how we do. So rats move. Eventually I'm gonna lose that one, it's just going very slow. Now this one is not next to me, and you know, I don't know, and I, I know I did the one before where I took them all away, but that might not be right. It might just be they don't spawn new rats. So I may have cheated over here, but say la vie. I'm gonna keep the rats moving towards what they want. There we go, and these two. Come to here, comes to here, to here, to here, to here, and here. Yeah, I'm losing that cheese for sure. But I'll start with that one. That trap goes off. And oh, look at that. I got two of them, which is all of them. Great. This one right here. Got them. And now up here, let's see, I won't get hurt. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need to get all four hits on this trap or I'm gonna lose that cheese. I got two of them. So I will just take away these two right there. And that is going to be all she wrote. Cause now the rat snarfle so all these rats are gonna go back into the bag. We will spawn our nemesis and see if I can't survive. What I did forget to do earlier was I did had a mutate. I did not roll my mutation. So I have a mutation on nothing and it would have healed a wound. So that's actually the best thing that could have happened. Then it spawns right here and now I'm probably gonna get killed <laughs> right away. But spawn more rats. So up here we have one, and then these two are active. Whoops, that goes here. And over here we have one more right here. So now I'm in a tough spot. But, well first, wait, let me recoup first. So really I need to hit hard with all these traps and just really hope. Okay, so first I have to bring out three more township cards. Let's place it like this. It's probably not the smartest with the cheeses all the way over there, but I wanna be able to take it that way. So there's one, here's two. Well that, I kinda like the double cheese there. And then our third one, which actually has some more health, and three. And then I have my random draw for here. It's another cheese. And now I have to pull some of these cheese off. There we go. Is it health? 
And now a whole bunch of rats. That was a horrible, horrible pull for me. All right. So, here I am. I could just try to get lucky and take out the Rat King here. Because if I can do one, two, three, four, if I can do five wounds to it, he only has three defense plus the trap, maybe I could get lucky. Or I could go and try to get another cheese. But what would I do with that cheese? Not much. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to see if I can just take them out right now. So I'm going to roll all of these dice. All right, so here we go. There, He's going to reduce this by three because of his defense. Boom. Oh, look at that. That is right there. That is two auto wounds. And I'm going to use this to immediately add another die. And I think I can do that to add on to this. I know I couldn't do this and just pick up another die and add it to the attack, but I think the tallyman happens immediately. So I'll roll another one. And then I'm gonna use this last one here because this actually could be it. And so right there, I take away three of these. One wound, two wounds, three wounds, four wounds right there. One, two, three, four. So if somehow I can do two more wounds to him, I will win. So that is that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start moving. I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to drop my free trap here, and you'll see why in a minute, and then three to there, and then I will use, and then I will use my other moves to drop more traps. I'll drop one right here and one right here. And so what I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure the nemesis rat steps on those traps. So that's what I have. And here we go with all the rats moving. Again, this one just pops over here. And these guys come to here. One, two. One, two. Oh. My mistake, I'm supposed to move the Nemesis Rat first. I will do that after because I've already started. I don't want to mess this up. And one, two. One, two. They move one. One, two. They're here and here. And here. One, two. One, two. They're here, and one, two, and one. I think I did that correctly. Oops, and I believe that swapped. There we go. All right, well, now I was supposed to roll how far the nemesis rat moves. So here we go, six. All right, so one, two, three. And so he's coming after me. So this is it. This is the moment I spring my traps. Nothing happens on this one, comes back. This one here, I will spring. And, whoops, that's five dice, I cheated. Four dice, here we go. And I got both of them. And then this is the one. If I can get two sixes, I will win the game. And I did not. So I only managed to get two hits that won't penetrate his armor. So I will take out one and two. I'll get rid of those two rats, throw them in my talisman cage. And then the attacks happen. Brown rat, nothing's going to go on there. And, and so the Broodmaster here is going to roll six dice. He hits on a three plus. If he gets four hits, the game is over. Oh, look at that. Only one. I live to fight another day. Whew. Okay, now any snarfling going on? Yes, this one is snarfled on up, which means that 
goes up here and will spawn a peculiar rat. So I'll get my peculiar rat, which is the pie rat. And I have to apologize. I don't recall where this rat, and there we go. All right. And now I do my spawning. All right, this is the moment. There is still plenty of cheese out. So I need to get a whole bunch of hits here. I'm going to immediately use my three here, add another die, and I'm gonna roll all of these and see if I cannot take out the rat king. Here we go, boom, and whoops, that's a three. There's two sixes, two mortal wound, boom, boom. We are done, got it. So there you have it folks, that is the playthrough of Rat Catcher. I'm surprised I won as I went through. I think I made some mistakes here and there, but overall, I hope you see how this game works. I hope you enjoyed it, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game and how it plays. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.